Hi, I am Amit Nunkar. In this video, we discuss about the adrenergic receptors. These adrenergic receptors are also known as adrenoceptors. Adrenergic drugs exert their effect by direct action on adrenergic receptors. So in this video, we discuss about which are the different adrenergic receptors, where they get located and its action. Let's begin with the first of all classification of these adrenergic receptors. These adrenergic receptors mainly divide into two types, which one is alpha receptor, which is also called excitatory receptor, whereas second one is beta receptor, which is also known as inhibitory receptors. The alpha receptors are known as excitatory receptors because they produce excitation in most adrenergically innervated organs and tissues, except in the GIT. In GIT, they will produce a decrease in tone, motility and secretion as well. So next is about the beta receptor, which is also called as inhibitory receptors because they produce inhibition in most adrenergically innervated organs and tissues except in heart, where they will excite the heart, which increase contraction as well as heart rate. So these are the main two classes of adrenergic receptors. Further, this alpha receptor, which subdivided into alpha 1 receptor and alpha 2 receptor, and beta receptor which further subdivided as beta 1 receptor, beta 2 receptor and beta 3 receptor. Further, this alpha 1 receptor subdivided into alpha 1A, alpha 1B, alpha 1D whereas alpha 2 into alpha 2A, alpha 2B and alpha 2C. So these are the subtypes of these alpha 1 as well as alpha 2 receptor respectively. These both alpha receptor and beta receptors are G protein coupled receptors as even though these are the both are G protein coupled receptors but differ in the type of G protein which they couple. So remember this one these adrenergic receptors which are come under G protein coupled receptor. Moving to the next one, this alpha 1 receptor couples to GQ type G protein receptors and produce inositol triphosphate and diacylglycerol as secondary messengers and because of which results in increased intracellular calcium and there is a subsequent smooth muscle contraction because of these secondary messengers. Whereas alpha 2 receptors which couples to GI type G protein receptors and which causes a decrease in neurotransmitter release as well as decrease of CAMP activity. CAMP means cyclic adenosine monophosphate activity and resulting in smooth muscle contraction. Whereas all beta receptors which couples to GS type G protein receptor and increases intracellular cyclic adenosine monophosphate activity resulting in heart muscle contraction, smooth muscle relaxation and glycogenolysis. So these are the main effect or you may say activity of this alpha 1 receptor, alpha 2 receptors and beta receptors. Now next one is their location. First is about the alpha 1 receptor. The alpha 1 receptor which are found postsynaptically on vascular smooth muscles, gastrointestinal and urinary splinters, eye, pancreas, spleen, and certain glands. Whereas alpha 2 receptors which are located presynaptically 
where they control the release of noradrenaline uh, noradrenaline by a negative feedback mechanism other sites where alpha 2 receptors are found include platelets fat cells and certain vascular smooth muscle cells and in cns neurons now whereas the beta 1 receptors which are located primarily in the heart and adipose tissues while the beta 2 receptors which are located in bronchial smooth muscles gas, gastrointestinal smooth muscles uterine and urinary, urinary smooth muscles skeletal muscles blood vessels and in liver and kidney lastly the beta 3 receptors which have located in adipose tissues and their stimulation cause lipolysis so all these are about the different types of adrenoceptors and their location as well as their effects hope all of you getting this thank you and happy learning